and welcome back to the Glass City Grind. I am Charlie, of course, this is Cheryl, and we have a very special guest yes. returning. Yes. See, sometimes people do come back. They come back. <laughs> That's right. And, too. and I love it that you came back, and I loved it that you embraced me, and you just kind of looked at Charlie like, oh, okay. I, I love that, though. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you may call it Thank you. I'm not getting in the middle of that. <laughs> I appreciate it. We have issues. I apologize. You'll you make her feel bad. <laughs> well, welcome back. Thank you Thank for coming you. back. Thank you for it. the invitation. I'd love to come back. And we haven't seen you since the election. Congratulations. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. It was, a, it was a grind, but I'm glad that part of my life is over with for now. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. We also want to ask you on something, too. Being February, mm -hmm. it's I'm thinking about mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. Sure. Now, do you have a Valentine? Am I allowed to ask you that? Of you do? I'm a long-standing Valentine, my husband. Oh, yes. good for you. <laughs> now, will you guys celebrate? Probably not. <laughs> 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 men, men all over the city are like, yes! yes. <laughs> I'm rolling with the mayor! <laughs> because you're too busy helping our city. We celebrate it each and every day. Yeah. Uh, so we don't wait for a special day for anything. We just celebrate the fact that we love each other, we respect each other, and he's my bestest friend I in the whole that. world. I love that. <sighs> Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. You should. <laughs> Take a lesson. That's yes. right. Take I'm a trying lesson. to. Uh, I like that. Okay, Hashtag Charlie, take a lesson. <laughs> um, and, and I know we're just a, a couple days away. Do you have anybody in the Super Bowl you're looking at? Do you watch the Super Bowl at all? I will probably go in and out watching it with, mm. because I know my husband will be watching it, mm. and I really don't have – my team didn't make it. Who's so your team? My team was Washington. Oh. Yeah, so they didn't make it. So no. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally understand. Uh, before we get into the uh, more lighthearted stuff, I know we wanted to bring up something that we were talking about discussing earlier, uh, the 1%. Right. We're asking voters, City of Toledo voters, to increase our temporary tax, which is right now at the three-quarter, to a full 1%. And we're doing that because, as everyone during the election I heard, right. fix the streets. The roads need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I said was before I'd ask for a tax, tax increase, I wanted to make sure we looked at every possible uh, avenue not to go back to the voters, but unfortunately, we have to go back to the voters. So we're asking for the voters to increase the temporary tax from three quarters to one, and that'll give us for the and it will become effective in Jan in July. For that half year, we'll make about eight point two million dollars, and we want to use those at eight point two to begin fixing our roads. Now, break it down for me as far as how much is that going to cost me going from three quarter percent sure. to one percent? How much is that going to cost? Me? For the average uh, income, uh, it would be for say about thirty five thousand. It's going to be at seven dollars a month in addition to what they're paying now. So it's not that much more than what we're doing. If you think about. Um, no smokers, but how much is a pack of cigarettes? I just read a story on that, about yeah. six bucks or oh something. Yeah, so we're yeah. looking at something that's a little bit more than a pack of cigarettes. But also, if you think about how much it costs you to do a front-end alignment or any other thing to your car, it's, it's well worth this money. So part, you know, we're going to use all those... Part of that dollars, no, let me back up, let me clear. The 8.2 million, I want to make sure folks know that the 8.2 is going to go for fixing our roads. Okay. And there'll be some other money generated to keep, to have a fire, I'm sorry, a police class, I'm talking too fast, a police class to, we'll get that started earlier in the year than what we've already got planned for 2016. So if this wow. is, if this is successful, uh, and it's approved and everything goes through the way you would like for it to go, when will we see some changes, some, some work starting to happen? Well, that's why if it passes in March, we can begin to let contracts, and as soon as the construction season starts, you can start seeing us out right. there doing some, right. doing some improvement right. on that's our That's what project. I'm talking about. Right, Absolutely. we need that. Because we've all heard horror stories of people hitting oh, yeah. potholes and things. Right. And oh, and it's just... ridiculous, and the fact that for, you know, for over 12 years, we have lost, not 12 years, but 8 years, we've lost local government funds that we used to use, and we've had to borrow from capital improvement dollars to just keep the city running. And so this will help us not to borrow those dollars anymore, and also for us to start fixing our streets. We'll be able to take care of ourselves now. Yeah. All right. We need that. We, yeah, need we, that. Ha we have to do right. that. So well, we're thank you for letting me talk about oh, that. Oh, yes, no. no. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to take some more questions sure. from some people that have, you know, that follow the show. So Great. we'll be right back after this with the mayor. The Toledo City Paper features the best Toledo has to offer. Food, fun, entertainment, music, art, and more. Be sure to check out the Glass City Grinds new ad in this week's issue. Pick up your copy anywhere around the greater Toledo area or read online at ToledoCityPaper.com. 
And welcome back. We are with our mayor, Paula Hicks Hudson. And you know Charlie, I'm Cheryl. Thank you for sticking Thank with you. us. Thank Just in case you forgot who we were. Just yes, I feel like <laughs> how, I thought we were unforgettable. However, we are. Moving on. <laughs> I thought one of you were going to start singing. I know. He usually does. I was going to, but out of respect for you, I didn't oh, hurt your ears. Okay. He's yeah. on his oh, best behavior the, today. But you've got that radio voice. And he that's does. about it. He does. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. This is true. Yeah. Okay, what I want to talk about okay. now is it's also Black History Month. Yep. So um, do you have any thoughts about our city or even being um, the first black mayor here or female, female. Ma mm -hmm. mayor? Do, I mean, do you have any thoughts or things that you'd like to see in our city when it comes to that? Well, sure. I think, you know, one of the most important things is for young people to know that everything's possible. Mm -hmm. You know, if you prepare yourself, if you keep your eye on the, as they say, the eye on the prize, mm -hmm. that you have these same opportunities. And so one of the things um, Mayor Ford, Jack Ford, talked to me is one of the reasons why I decided to run was the fact that now, you know, I was as my um, uh, uh, being sworn in, I was the first African American female. And what would that like? What would that be for younger girls, yes. mm -hmm. African American girls, and just girls in general right. to see uh, someone that is in charge of a hundred and forty-seven million dollar general fund budget? Um, as well as some other big dollars that come into the city, and if I were to walk away from it. So it was really an, an important decision, not just for myself, but also for, the, for young people to see. Because mm -hmm. for me to be where I am, I saw my elders do things that had not happened before. And so it's important for us to always give back to our community. So while we're celebrating Black History Month, I think it's also we should celebrate community and, and our and our connections to one another. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I think that's what's important. Great. With diversity mm -hmm. too. And our city is so diverse. It is. It's very diverse. It is. I mean, that's one of the best things about the city of Toledo is that mm -hmm. th that we are we are really a microcosm of the world. Yeah. And, and and when we remember that all of us, you know, when you cut us What's the color? It's right, red. Right. Mm -hmm. And do we all have hearts? Yes. Do we all care about each other? Yes. Absolutely. And and so we need to not worry about the barriers. Last night, um, the university had a, a a conversation about diversity and and it was very enlightening for me because there were young people there, there were old people, there were Hispanics, white, black gay, straight, disabled, mm. abled people all there talking about what they like to see the university. And when I closed my eyes, I thought, this is what makes Toledo so great, mm -hmm. that we can have those conversations. And folks are talking about being comfortable and uncomfortable. Folks were not afraid to talk about the hard things. All right. right. I love that. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. And now, do you have any comments at all about the downtown, the developments oh, sure. going on downtown? Uh, 30 years ago when I came to the city of Toledo, downtown was a place where you really didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, on the weekends, at night, it's a, it's a happening place. Mm -hmm. We have restaurants, bars, activities, the Huntington Center, the Fifth Third Field, plus Hensville getting ready to open up mm -hmm. in a few, a few weeks. Mm -hmm. All these things are, are signs of the rebirth of our city. Yes. And I'm just excited about it. And while other people say, oh, there's a problem with people leaving the city, not really, because young folks are coming back. And I can name five uh, young people that I know that left Toledo and they've moved back home. Wow. I, at least five. Probably if I thought about it, I could name more. And mm -hmm. other folks could do the same. So we have a great opportunity here with businesses, government, nonprofits all coming together, not only to revitalize downtown, but also our neighborhoods. Sylvania Avenue is popping. Mm. Uh, Junction really? Avenue. Oh, yes. Junction Avenue is popping. Library Village. All these neighborhoods where folks are coming together saying, we want what's better for our, best for our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. We're going to be the ones that de decide what we're going to do. Right. And we want government businesses come in and help us. But it's our plan. And when you, know, when you have a plan and you work the plan, you have success. Wow. wow. I love yeah. that. Yeah, um, I love that. So do I'm we have time for a question? <coughs> Can I ask? Okay, I want to ask a question. And by the way, I want to thank you so much for yes. saying popping. Um, oh, okay. My mayor said poppin'. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> uh, we have a Twitter question. Um, 
A. Woods 6 asked this question. Okay. Uh, with all the trouble, oh yes, yeah, about this time of year, with all the trouble Flint has been having, what steps are you taking to ensure our water safety it for Toledo? Be, it should be what steps have we taken. Oh, okay. because, yes. because last summer, you know, the big deal for us was the microcystin. And each and every day, we were able to show no matter what the level of microcystin in the water mm -hmm. was, we produced clean water. And we continue to do that. The problem in Flint was when they connected, when they connected, disconnected from Detroit and began to pump the water in from the Flint. They didn't put a, an additive that keeps the pipes from corroding, mm -hmm. and that that uh, and that's what caused the lead to be leached from their pipes. Mm -hmm. We don't have that problem, and in fact, thank our yes. thank goodness, yes. In fact, you know, we don't have to test as much as others because our water and the amount of lead is, is almost, I don't say it's a non-detect, but mm -hmm. it, it meets the standards that we need to make sure that we are not poisoning our children or right. our seniors. I mean, so if you were to come into my office, you'd see on my board, the very first thing that I have is safe drinking water. Mm -hmm. That's one of the main goals that I look at each and every day and to make sure that our Department of Public Utilities are doing everything we can because to wake up on a Saturday morning and you're getting ready and you drink coffee and you said, oh, you can't drink it. Yeah. That, yeah. that is something that we should never have to never. answer. Never. And, for, and for, the, for our colleagues and our families and our friends in Flint, you know, we know what it was like for three days. Yes. Yeah. This is going to happen. This is a generational oh, issue. Yeah, this is going to be a problem for a while. So, mm -hmm. so tell, tell, so tell him that we are. That is a pledge that we're working each and every day to make sure we're spending millions of dollars for our plant. And if you see any of the of the big uh, uh, construction, like at Joey Brown Park, mm -hmm. that's also part of us making sure we're taking care not only of our water but also the the river and the lake mm -hmm. by having these big retention uh, basins being built so that we don't just dump water, raw sewage or bad water back into the river that goes into wow. the lake. So we are very serious about Good. that. Mm -hmm. Good. That makes me proud. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I want to say thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, a major, it's a major, major thing that the city, we're, we're so far ahead of the curve from other cities mm -hmm. that have had problems with U.S. and Ohio EPA. We have a good working relationship with Ohio, and we're b building that relationship with US EPA so that we are able to make sure that this that this city is a great city. Oh, I'm proud yeah. of that. Yeah. Very thank good, you. very good. All right, well, I just want to thank you so much thank yeah, you for joining us. You. Um, you know, you can come back anytime. Thank you. We will behave, right? Of course. And we are I so always proud. behave. <laughs> and we are so you proud, do. and we're so proud that you're our mayor, thank and you we're so proud much. of everything that you're doing. Thank we you. pray thank for you, you and such a good interview. I appreciate so, it, because yeah. that's the only way I'm, I'm able to make it there, the prayers of the righteous. Yes. And, I want, and Aruka, I want to thank you, too, for what you said earlier about for, for young girls coming in the future, mm -hmm. why you're here, so that they can see Absolutely. you yes. and know that. And uh, we, it's Black History Month, so on the radio station we, we do our Black History Month mm -hmm. little things, and yes. we included you this year. Oh, thank uh, you. And it was an honor to do that. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for making Black History. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.